Welcome back to Tux Traveler. I just want to do a little bit of a, a talking slash rambly type video today. Just uh, just talking a little bit about, about slowing down. And uh, as I've been starting this trip here, uh, as I do every year, I'll, I'll start because I have a lot of obligations that keeps me in the uh, northeast throughout the summer. And so I don't get a chance to come out to the west until close to the winter, which, you know, in the wintertime. Southwest deserts are a great place to be, but I've never been to the Pacific Northwest And so I wanted to go ahead and uh, take a trip up here And there's a lot of things I wanted to see before the winter comes so that's one factor That's caused me to move a little bit quicker than I would generally like the other factor was Out here. It's harder to find places where you can stop and park for a few days on end still have enough internet to get your work done and Have enough Sun to keep your batteries charged that is a trifecta that is hard to find in this particular area. And uh, right now I have found one such place. And so I'm just gonna chill here for a few days. So I am literally on this mountain cliff. Yeah, look at that. And this is literally just a pull out on a forest service road. Uh, it's kind of right on the road, but in the last I, I've been here I've been here about 13 or 14 hours like two cars have passed by so not all that concerned it's up the mountain far enough that most people aren't going to come up here I'm certainly not going to get any vagrancy type up here um, and there's a little fire pit right here and it's a big pull out. it's not like a little pull out it's a big pull out but I have a perfect view as soon as the sun I actually watched last night I watched the moon rise over that mountain ridge right there and then the sun rose right there and it's going to stay full high up in the air and I there's a one tree here but I don't think I, it's gonna block my solar panels right now the solar panels are still charged they're pu still pulling in full it's also really bright and sunny out here not a cloud in the sky which means I get the chance to actually run a new test recipe in the solar oven and boil my water off of the sun. So I'm using less power, less propane, utilizing the sun. These are the types of things you get when you can find a campsite where you have internet and I'm pulling down, I think I'm getting down 30 Mbps down and 20 up is what my internet's at right here at this spot in the middle of nowhere. Now, if I go down the road about a mile, I'm not gonna get as good of internet because I'm up here in the airwaves <laughs> among the mountains that's where i'm at and so i got a chance to get out here and despite i do really need to get moving on soon before the winter really comes and hits i have been moving so fast on this trip that i have to stop and take a few days and not go a lot of places so actually if tomorrow is as sunny as today i'm going to do another recipe in the solar oven i'll probably record that one uh, today's recipe seems to be working uh, just fine. I should have recorded it, but uh, oh well, I'll get to it later. Um, but uh, I'm at this just beautiful spot now, and um, I'm going to hang out here. Thursday stream should work here. My Friday night stream should work here. And I'm even debating staying here Saturday as well, just so I can have a day where I don't do anything but get completely caught up and staged on work so that next week I can go out and do another quick move because there, the next two spots I want to see, there will be very little rest in between. And so I want to get a chance to, um, I want to go ahead and get a chance to do that. So I'm thinking I may not leave this spot until Sunday morning. So got here Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night in this amazing peaceful place. The only reason I will leave here is if it gets cold enough that it will start snowing or if it starts raining because I'm right on the edge of this cliff and I just don't want to mash the water coming on down here and loosening things up. I don't think I'll have a problem, but um, it's just an important thing to keep in mind that when you're traveling, see if you can find times where you can stop for a little while. Now, have I done this yet? Yes. Um, in, in a spot in Michigan, I could stay, I stayed like three or four days. Um, we had, didn't have good enough internet to stream, but I was actually only about 10 minutes from town where I could, could stream. We also didn't get 
quite as much cell signal, or excuse me, not quite as much sun in that direction, but um, uh, it was enough that I didn't have any problems, especially since I had to run to town to do the streams. North Dakota, that camping spot was totally awesome. Uh, it was full bright sun, very good internet, very quiet, very nice place. Um, that one actually had a pit toilet. This doesn't, so I'm going to have to store waste and haul it into town when I head into town next. Um, but uh, the other spot, let's see, I think there was one. Yeah, there were a couple other small spots where I stayed and stopped at as well. And uh, that was okay as well. But with that, um, finding these spots in the Pacific Northwest is a little bit harder. And uh, this one here, I just kind of stumbled upon it. I'm not even sure I really want to mention publicly where it is. <laughs> In case I want to come on back to it another time and uh, not have it be wrecked, ruined, or uh, become a tourist trap. Um, but nevertheless, it is just a, uh, a nice spot, and I'm glad to have finally found a place where I can stop, slow down, get completely caught up on work for a little while, and uh, uh, really just be able to have all the, all the basic needs met here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, I'll turn the camera around so you guys can get some better views what we have and then um, we'll uh, talk from there. So here's the Forest Service Road. We're coming down and we're parked right on this bend, but there's a huge pull off here. And looking down this way, we have a river down here. And uh, since I changed gaps from the last spot I was, I do not recall which river that would happen to be. Uh, but then we have, as we head back actually towards the van, we actually are overlooking a clip inside the mountains. And these are, this is in the Cascades, the Cascade Mountain Range, I believe is the mountain range we're in. Uh, unless there's one closer to the ocean. I am getting closer to the ocean, so I have not checked my geography a little bit for a little bit. So I know it was in the Cascades yesterday, and I just assume I'm still there today. But this was actually the scene out my window. So there's my door is open up, and here is the thermos. is actually just crossing red, so I should pull the thermos off. And the... This is a chicken lentil curry uh, cooking up and it is already at 160 and I'm not even gonna have dinner until, you know, for several more hours. So that's gonna be really good. But there is effectively my view looking out my window from my computer desk, which is right there. Nice private campground. Now, what I do see below me there is the road is down there as well. Uh, so if anybody is coming up this way, I can see them for a few miles ahead. Anyway, guys, I'm going to jump back over into work here. Just want to get a quick video up so you guys can uh, uh, see where I'm at right now. And uh, I'll just give you this little tip. I am uh, pr pretty close to the California border still in Oregon. Um, I probably have maybe about 20, 30 minutes until I reach, reach the California border. So that's kind of where I'm at. Beautiful spot. And, uh, we'll leave it here. So thanks for watching everybody and, uh, subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so, and we will see you a little bit further down the road.